Hello and welcome back. I really don't have much time here, guys. Um, but I have, we have a lot of Battlefield cards. Um, and I don't, just a lot of stuff. Um, from stuff that we've, uh, we've already shown already shown you like the non-faction layer lava pits which helps decepticons predacons mercenaries uh autobots maximals get negative one tough uh didn't know i printed three nebulos battlefield cards which really helps out your titan masters patrols battle masters weaponizers uh so you know and these are all temporary they're only for in the field uh it's more than just a turn or, or could be that's why they're not action cards and they're not stratagems they're not they're not just for a turn and they're not for the whole game uh, they can last more than a turn uh, maximal base autobot and body modes have bold one so even a, a body mode for another faction would even get that bold one uh, decepticon and planes have negative two tough you have to have tough to take negative tough off uh maximal base head of unicron uh i've shown this before i don't remember going over any character with one health left is ko'd so if you play this and your opponent has a, a character with only one health if you quote unquote go to the head of unicron they have to KO that character or uh, one of your characters for that sake. The Obelisk Throne Room. I know we've gone over ro Roller. Uh, the Flying Island from Beast Wars. This almost looks hand-drawn, uh, but it's supposed to be CGI. Um, remote Tundra. Planes and Spaceships uh, get bold. Beasts get tough. Uh, Airport Hangar uh, 1984 with, uh, gets, gives helps to mini cassettes and spy patrols. Uh, oh, then these two are very washed out because they were some of the first Sherman Dam Ocean Oil Rig. Uh, only going trying to really keep it to oh crap, battlefield cards, and it's missing right here. It says a battlefield card, and it doesn't. I uh, forgot that label. Um, here is Calm Bay. I didn't, it looks like a bay, it's not an atoll. Uh, I don't know what you call this, so I just called it Calm Bay. Boats, subs, my submarines would get a, a buff here. The Rescue Patrol and Specialists have Bold 2, Tough 2, and Plus 1 to attack. Um, I'm really trying to hit up and give everybody a little of something. Dinobot Island. This is through the cockpit of Power Glide, Battlefield Card, Dinobots, Firecons, Beasts, and Body Modes. Again, each get Bold 2, Tough 1, and plus one to attack. So we're giving giving the fire cons a little love here too for Dinobot Island. Oh, sorry, there we go. Uh, prehistoric Earth. Now we have a couple of different Earths, um, but this one is actually, if you can tell, night. Um, beasts, and it looks, boy, that really looks dark through my camera, but it was a dark picture and I even lightened it up a lot, uh, brightened it through uh, my program, and it's still printed really dark. Uh, beasts, motorcycles. I don't know why motorcycles would be on prehistoric Earth, but, you know, they're Transformers. Trucks, spy patrols, and the off-road patrol all have bold two and stealth, tapped and untapped. Um, asteroid belt, I love that picture from the very first episode of G1. Each player chooses two characters to damage, one each for each turn while this battle card is in play. Um, so you, if you have uh, some like maybe battle masters and you're wanting to uh, get them equipped, this might help you while also hurting your, your opponent at the same time. Um, you know, you, you, they would have to choose two characters to damage one each. Um, playing chicken, we've gone over. This one is corrected. Um, and it's not like they're banging into the same type. Uh, one of your trains, trucks, or tanks can hit a truck, car, or tank. I did not put 
train for the other side, but it would help you, if you have a train, they could ram a truck, car, or tank. Um, and your truck could ram a truck, car, or tank. Uh, and you would get a hit, a damage of one. Your opponent would get a damage of two. That's actually an action card. I, I'm sorry, but I, it was just a, a corrected uh, card. Uh, underwater base. It's actually the Decepticon. So I got the, De whoa, I got the Decepticon symbol on here. Uh, Decepticons have bold two, tough one, and stealth. And I put untapped with parentheses around the un, so they have stealth when they're tapped and untapped. I'm just trying to save space on uh, my on the uh, text there. Autobots have negative two to tough, and their stealth does not work. So whether it's a stealth on a character from an er er early wave character with stealth on it, it doesn't work. You put uh, get stealth on them with an with the uh, with an upgrade, it doesn't work. They are at the you're at you're fighting at the Decepticon underwater base. Um, and I, and I can't really change my font on this. So uh, that's the best I could do. And I, you know, we got the Decepticon symbol to signify. And of course, duh, it's right there on the picture. I got to hurry up. I rewatched part of this episode or, or a lot of it. This is where Nightbird originated. Uh, the Tokyo Dr. Fujisawa, I think, was the character's name. They came up with, called and wall screened the Autobots on Teletran 1 and said, Hey, come on over. I made a robot. Um, I, I, I want you to, to come protect it as the Decepticons may find out what I'm doing. Uh, but, of course, with the Autobots all there, the Decepticons followed, of course. Well, they never said where they were going or what they were doing or what this was, but they showed this and then acted like they were inside actually battling. So they actually did battle here. Uh, so I just called it the Tokyo Robotics Expo. Um, and it gives an, another buff to Decepticons, mercenaries like Nightbird and mini cassettes. Autobots and those with range have negative two to tough because people are there and it's a small area in which to fight. I thought that would help. Underwater Atlantis. Captain uh, Battlefield card, all boats, submarines, rescue patrol, and melee traits have bold two. Range traits have negative two to tough because it's hard to fight underwater. Um, and they always seem to have uh, issues fighting underwater, and they actually did it for at least two episodes. Um... And so, so that there, there's Atlantis. Or, uh, actually, what I put underwater Atlantis. Um, I do not have a, the New York Atlantis or whatever. Wheat Farm. I think it looks funny, but I, I checked the spelling, and that is how wheat is spelled. Um, maybe I'm thinking of Wheaties. Battlefield card, and you would think, oh, no, we don't need help for Insecticons. Don't worry, I didn't give them bold. Dinobots and Firecons get the bold too. The Insecticons and in your beasts have tough too. So there you go. Now, don't worry. No bold to, to the Insecticons, just tough. Uh, here's the Rectifier coil that the Predacons and Beast Wars, and that's really, golly, that's dark. Um, that's supposed to be Waspinator taking off the Rectifier coil on the top of the Axelon. Um, I think I called it the Avalon many, many videos ago, uh, to where it the rectifier coil helps to keep out the the amount of energon or suppress the from them shorting out inside of their own ship on prehistoric Earth when they didn't know they were there there and that wasn't written into the plot at the time, so. Beasts, Firecons, Insecticons, Monstercons, yes, I'm thinking big here, and Predacons cannot flip to bot or body mode. Um, so I thought that was a neat play. Um, of course, yes, I put body because right now our beasts can only flip to body mode. So it makes sense. Uh, and who knows, we if... 
the Ark comes up with monster cons that are headmasters, this might actually end up applying. Um, so, who knows? Uh, Grotesque was just an amazing figure. I still have that. I loved Grotesque. Um, it was just something... I guess because he was a dragon and he had the th anyway. Modern day Earth. Now we have a prehistoric Earth card. We have a prehistoric Earth Knight card. Here is modern day. And I was just really thinking of just the trans, the, the some of the original Transformer uh, characters. Uh, cars, planes, trains, and automobiles. No. Cars, planes, trains, Dinobots, boats, patrols, Constructicons, Stunicons. Insecticons, oh shucks, Insecticons, and mini cassettes all have bold too. Insecticons don't need help. Why did I do that? Uh, so that's modern day Earth. North Pole, uh, because there was that green thing, that crystal that they started getting into, the, the Decepticons did. Planes and patrols have bold too. Yes, even your spy patrols. Cars and Titan Masters have negative one to tough. And then I get a little too specific here. Trucks cannot have Brave. Because what are they going to hide behind, so to speak, on the North Pole? At the beginning of the turn, damage one to all Insecticons. Um, so if your opponent has Insecticons and they don't have a card to knock this out at the beginning of their turn and you've played it and then it's their turn, they have an Insecticon in play, they have to do one damage to it. Um, oh, even if they do knock it out, because that would be, uh, th this would go into effect at the beginning of their turn before this even gets knocked out. So they would, even if they knock this out, this would still be in play at the start of their turn. So the Insecticon uh, on their team would still get damage to one. Um, and trucks cannot have Brave. So if you've got Brave on an Optimus or something like that, they wouldn't get it. Uh, last one, the ins yeah, I haven't done this one. Insecticon crash site. Gosh, I gotta go. I gotta get get to work. Um, ins Insecticons only have stealth when tapped. This is not for them. The off road patrol gets plus one to attack. Um, the off road patrol gets the plus one here. Um, if I could. Maybe I should have gotten their sign or something and, and stuck it over here. Uh, it may have covered up the plus one, though. Uh, but the Insecticons get stealth when they're in their own marsh where we where we found them in the old cartoon. Because there's Megatron. Looks like uh, oh, Thunder. if Thundercracker is purple. Oh, who's the blue one? Skywarp? Or is Thundercracker blue? And then Soundwave. Uh, gosh, I, f I forgot my planes all of a sudden. I can remember the Coneheads. Uh, Thrust, Dirge, and Ramjet. Oh, who's the blue one? Maybe that is Thundercracker. Um, and No, that's... Is Skywarp blue and Thundercracker purple? Anyway, I'm talking to myself now. Insecticons only have stealth when tapped. Off-road patrol gets plus one to attack. And that's pretty much all I have right now. <laughs> Except this, um, you know, we have Vortex, we have a completed Vortex, and then I also completed Swindle. Um, and if you see something different, it's, I'm not writing this in, by, by, uh, by hand. I actually typed it out, glued it on, and then tried to put the color over the thing, uh, as well as tried to... And that was tricky, getting these all in here so they're, I'm not handwriting it. Now, I didn't handwrite alt mode uh, in, in this stuff here, but I'm trying to get it a little better eh, looking. But, you know, we still do have, you know, that's handwritten and, and range is handwritten. But that's, a, oh, golly, I got to get, I got to log on. I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, so thanks for watching. That's all we got right now. Uh, just Battlefield, Battlefield, Battlefield cards, and uh, maybe I'll get to test them someday. Um, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Have a blessed day, and as always, 
flip out and let's roll for it.